uh, and invite you as we witness what God is doing, bringing this man and this woman together. We're really witnessing a, a miracle. Um, the two will become one. And that's something that God is doing before our eyes, which is a beautiful picture of his grace to Chad and to Emily. Ultimately, it's a beautiful picture of Christ and his bride, his church, which I can see such joy on Chad's face. <laughs> As he sees his bride, and I can just imagine God as he waits for us. the foundation of your marriage, but your love for each other expresses gospel love. You come together um, because God has given you one to another, and you're a beautiful gift, especially today, you're particularly beautiful gifts <laughs> to each other. to write a few words about each other. I'm going to read just a few words from Emily first. She said, I love that Chad loves the Lord and seeks to follow Him, which I can clearly see in his servant heart. I also am attracted to Chad because he values being honest and keeping promises and commitments. I know he will take our marriage vows to heart as a life commitment rather than just words. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Chad, take you, Emily. I, Chad, take you, Emily. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better and for worse. <laughs> for better and for worse. <laughs> for richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Chad, I give you this ring. Chad, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Christ put you first not just in words or in principle, but he did it by dying on the cross. And so he loves you and has set this foundation for you. So your confidence in this union is ultimately not a confidence in the fact that you've made a great choice, but you have made a great choice. But your confidence is deeper than that. It's even deeper than your love for each other, or it's even deeper in, than the other's love for you. Your confidence ultimately is in Christ's love for you, which you knew before you entered this union. And it's that foundation, the foundation of his gospel that you're trusting as you enter this union. Chad and Emily, you have made your solemn vows and you've exchanged symbols of your love with confidence that God will bless you and bless this union. It is my great privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Chad, you may kiss your bride. I love you. It's crazy. I now have the privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chad Easterly.